Trapper Scott here, Western Wisconsin. Um, today I'm going to be showing you a fox dirt hole with double traps. All right, guys. Um, we're going to start off by bedding our trap. We're making our trap bed. I'll take this top layer off. Comes off pretty easy. Now I'm making a big bed because I'm doing double traps here. I'll take my dirt and throw it right in your right in your sifter. Make sure you get all the roots. If you want anything interfering with your traps when they set off. Now, see there's a big rut right there. Get that out of there because it's gonna really mess you up when you go to bed your trap. Okay, now I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be staking them down because I'm just doing a demo for you guys. So I like my bed soft. A lot of people, like I said in my coyote set, my coyote dirt hole, you know, some people they like to pound her down, but I like mine a little soft. Um, you're gonna set your traps. And uh, I'm gonna put one right to the right, and then I'm gonna come back. Set this other one. I'm gonna put it offset from your other one, maybe back about four inches from your other one. Now, uh, well, online you can buy these pan covers. I got, I got one for free, so I, you know, I'm just gonna use it. You know, put that over your pan, and then you're gonna start sifting your dirt. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a good process. And then, you know, I mean, you won't get your hand caught. I mean, you know, it happens. Even your experienced trappers, you're going to get your hand. But just uh, better down good. I mean, she's she's in there pretty solid. And I'm just going to move that, my cap over to my other trap. And uh, usually, you know, I'll have my, I'm just demonstrating, but my, my pans will be flush they won't be sticking up like they are a little bit now but I'm just doing a demo so I'm not gonna perfect it I'll just give you guys a quick demonstration yeah bed them bed both traps Make sure, one thing you want to really make sure is that your trap don't move. Well, I'm just going to flip off the cap there and you're gonna take another, make sure you know where your traps are, especially when you're doing doubles. Cover your pans. And now, some people, you can use a shovel, but I, you can also use your th your pounder. And I'm just gonna make my hole 45 degree angle. Uh -huh. This works good on the on the river too. Uh -huh. You got your hole. Yeah. Lure on top. If you're using uh -huh. bait, bait in the hole. Uh -huh. Urine on the top. You know, even where you're sitting, you could even uh -huh. drop a little bit of urine down. But uh, that's about it for a dirt hole. One other trick I do want to show you guys though. 
Uh, I haven't seen too many people do this, but what I do, I'll take my handle, find your pan, you want, right on your pan, make what looks like fox tracks. Two, and then a third one on your other pan. Now, what's gonna happen, they're gonna think, oh hey, another fox came in there. Bam, fox are, they're sneaky, they'll step where they see another track, just to, cause they're cautious like that. But uh, I've done that and it works. I've had them step right on the exact tracks that I've made. But uh, thanks for watching guys. Comment, subscribe.